Hey guys, it's Drak, and today we are talking about the Zing FireTech Rocket, which is designed for night and day fun in outside conditions. And I think that it's going to be a hugely cool product in the same way that the Zing FireTech bows were really, really cool. They added a whole new dimension. We got to goof around in a laser tag arena with them. It was just a really great thing that we got to play with. And I think that these are going to be just as cool, but for more of an outdoor type environment. So here we have their fact sheet, which is how they are an exciting new toy for spring of 2015. Although I think that they've started to show up in a few other places early. Now it's saying that it's adding to the fire tech line with lights and sounds ready for outdoor and at night fun. Attach it and launch it. So similar to how the old Sky Rippers used to work, I think that this is going to work in a very identical fashion although it doesn't look like they've changed the tubes hardly at all which is really interesting so we're still gonna have that great whistling action the head looks heavier which means that they could in theory fly even further which is almost a scary concept for those of you that have played with the fire tech rockets or not the fire tech rockets but the regular rockets or even just the zing bows you know that these shoot further than pretty much any other foam blaster toy kind of thing on the market the only thing that shoots further is I think the moonshot and I don't think that that actually made it to market like I'm pretty sure the Kickstarter flopped, which was a real shame, but here we have the FireTech rocket. Feels very solid. Same sort of construction that they've been using for the FireTech arrows. Flipping this on, we get one bright red LED. The launcher itself doesn't have any LEDs in it, but that's okay because it's designed to do one thing, and that's sling these downrange. So I'm going to turn it off because there's plenty of light right now, and... <laughs> Excuse me, the pollen down here in Georgia is just terrible. I'm going to launch both of these, just kind of flip them down range, and then I'll make a separate video, which I'll link in an annotation as well as the description box below, where we can kind of shoot them at night and get a real feel for how that's working. But I, I've fired these before, and I just know what to expect. So with arms as long as mine, you can get some real power, and then you want to flick your wrist at the end of your throw. So that was something else and then here we got one more starting to rain and that's those are good easy hundred foot shots and I can't wait to do some range tests and some night demos the rain is coming down really hard but if you want to check this product out for yourself I'll put a link that you can buy it in the description box below I just need to start getting into the habit of saying that there will be links down below because I've been putting more and more links in my description box content but thanks for watching guys I will get back to you with some night shots and then some range tests